There's a lot of confusion about why we don't recommend consequences in the collaborative and proactive solutions model. And the first thing we got to talk about is the difference between natural consequences and artificial, unnatural, adult-imposed consequences. They're different. Uh, artificial, unnatural, adult-imposed consequences are things like timeout, taking away privileges, those are punishments, or rewards like stickers. These are not things that occur naturally because of a child's challenging behavior. Natural consequences are consequences that are going to occur anyhow. They are automatic. They are inevitable. They are unavoidable. But they are not adult imposed. This would include things like having kids not want to play with you because you're having difficulty sharing with them. Getting a poor grade on a test because you didn't study for it. Getting a poor grade in a class because you didn't do your homework. Those are natural consequences. They're very different from adult imposed consequences, but they're all consequences. Now, by definition, a consequence is an event that occurs after the fact. A lot of people think the word consequence means punishment, but it doesn't. It's an event that occurs after the fact. And here's the reason that in the CPS model, we're not real keen on consequences. Consequences don't solve the problems that are causing the behaviors that are causing kids to suffer those consequences in the first place. So whether a consequence is natural or artificial, it's not going to solve the problems. In other words, um, if a kid gets a poor grade in a class, that's not going to solve the problem of the homework the kid was having difficulty completing that caused the kid to get a poor grade in the class. In CPS, we're going to do plan B so we can figure out what's getting in the way of the kid doing his homework and what are the solutions to what's getting in the kid's way. If a kid is having difficulty getting to school on time and therefore he's failing his first period class and he's getting detentions because he's late for his first period class, that's an unnatural consequence. That's not going to help us figure out what's getting in the way of the kid getting on time to school, and it's not going to solve that problem. Plan B is going to solve that problem. If a kid is having difficulty sharing with his sibling, and we give that kid a timeout for having difficulty sharing with his sibling, or perhaps because he hit his sibling in the midst of having difficulty sharing with his sibling, that timeout is not going to solve the problem of having difficulty sharing with your sibling. We're going to have to do plan B so we can find out what's really getting in the kid's way and solve it. And here's the beauty of it. We find that once the problem is solved, through plan B, we didn't need the consequences, natural or artificial, in the first place.